start with a serve. Libero, Zena, Paula Beatek. And we'll get first pass from Hernandez. Set tip down to Laney by Laney Smith. Again, already seeing that savviness. Oh, this rotation where Laney Smith starts the match in that right front position is where she is comfortable. And the nice tip over the Minnesota block. And back at the service line, Christy Martinez Mundo. Another player that was just drafted actually in Puerto Rico. And that's going to be an ace for Martinez Mundo. Christina Martinez Mundo has been the game changer within this Illini lineup, adding that libero role. She was competing for that spot and has definitely added to it. And only her first year here coming from Eastern Illinois. The outside big swing by Alex Achevito. And another swing by Smith with a kill off of Minnesota's block. Obviously, the Fighting Illini are putting the pressure on this left side pin for Minnesota, trying to defend Laney Smith, who's very comfortable with the line shot. Yeah, and seeing that replay there, very good job identifying those blockers. And a big, another ace already for Christy Martinez Mundo. And Illinois talks about she is a firecracker for this team. She absolutely is. And what's more important is this aggressive serving to start. Keep in mind, Illinois lost to UCLA. They had 14 service errors, and they're not changing the fact they're still being aggressive with their serving. Yeah, and there's another aggressive serving, but causing an error. And a look back here at Lydia Grote, like we talked about earlier, at the service line. There's a pass by Terry. Back to Smith again, testing that spot that worked before for her, but Minnesota keeping that ball up. So great coverage by Minnesota. And that's going to be a little free ball kill there for Melanie Schaffmaster. Well, Schaffmaster, very experienced setter, senior, and her blocking ability. She's gone up some against some of the best outsides in the Big Ten. So no surprise there with the block. Yeah, Shaftmaster to look out for tonight. She's currently at 4,953, uh, excuse me, assists. Looking for 5,000. That ball's going to be put away there by Julia Hansen, another big, big player for this Minnesota offense. Yeah, when you look at Hansen, she has got the stats as well to be able to really be that difference maker. She was one who kind of saved the team last year during the NCAAs against Indiana, was fighting for that outside position, and now has that lead role. It's always great to see those success stories. Ball's going to be passed up by Terry and put away by Ashlyn Philpot, the freshman who has been on fire this season. When you look at the front row of the Fighting Illini with Lainey Smith, Ashlyn Philpot, and you really get a good sense of these freshmen are very special. Yes, they are. Brooke Mosher doing a great job identifying where she was on the court. Served over by Lily Berry and passed by Alex Achevito. Tip saved by Berry and Martinez Mundo put over by Hernandez and tipped over by, excuse me, Shaftmaster. Again, very famous for that spot. She's a very tall setter and able to use her left hand, put that ball away. Well, Shaftmaster standing at 6'3", and she is going to be aggressive up at the net with that second contact and knows when the block is distracted. Passed up by Lily Berry. And back row attack by Hernandez. Looks like it went out a little bit there. Hoping for the touch, didn't quite get it. Well, one thing the Fighting Illini like to do with their outside hitter, six rotation player, Avery Hernandez, swinging tough on that out back row attack. Good. Julia Hansen at the service line still. Ball puts Serena Terry off the block with a kill. Terry already starting this game off strong, fighting, and now back at the service line for the Illini. Well, Terry just picking up her first kill, but she is back here behind the service lines where she is very strong with her aces. Yes, yeah, she is setting a record for the Illini, getting recognized for it later tonight. Nice reach with her hands by Terry and free balled over by Hernandez. Got their shaft master set to the right side. 
and looks like it was blocked over by Hernandez and Philpot. That's gonna be four touches. It, excuse me, a lift for Minnesota. Minnesota is very good with her hitter coverage. They're prepared to dig the ball right after the block. Here's Terry again back at that service line. Pass from Julia Hansen, overpassed, hit by, and looks like Terry tried to get a hand on that ball, didn't quite get there. Point, Minnesota. Well, Minnesota starting this match off a little bit slower, but now picking up the pace with the offense, being aggressive up at the net. Right back at that service line for Minnesota, Elise McGee, and a senior. Has set over to Hernandez on the outside. Big pass and chased down by Julia Hansen. Free ball over by Schaefmaster. Great pass by Julia Hansen right up to the middle and killed by Wooker. Down straight to Martinez Mundo, but was just such a powerful swing. She couldn't get her platform there in time. Well, pay attention to Wooker on the outside. She's taking advantage of the fact that the line I were taking more of a ball approach to the block and hit it right outside. It's gonna be service error for Minnesota. Point, Illinois. Here we're gonna see senior Reagan Riley back at the service line. It's her first year here with the Illini and made great impact in this one rotation. Especially when she's back serving, she allows to uh, Mosier to be able to swing in the front row and do the setting. But that time, a uh, service error. Yeah, we'll see a service error from Riley back over to Minnesota. We'll see Lydia Gross subbing in right now and Shaftmaster back at the service line. Shaftmaster, a big server for Minnesota with 24 aces on the season. Back to Mosher, the setter tipped it over and saved by Paula Biak. Swung and a big dig by Lily Berry. Swung down the line by Hernandez and a kill off the block. Avery Hernandez has seen a lot of tall blocks out there within the Big Ten, just swinging tough, going off the high hands of that Minnesota block. Seen some big blocks in the Big Ten this season. Chris Thomas telling his team, make sure to use those hands, get a point any way you can. Big swing from Minity, but the ball was out. Point Illinois, Brooke Mosher back at the service line. Brooke Mosher with a very famous serve here at Huff Hall. Well, Brooke Mosher has a top spin serve that she tosses it up in the air, but this time she's going with the float serve. She's had a back tension that just is uh, better safe to use the float serve. See. Uh, and push down tip by Hernandez. Really had to reach over the net there, but was able to accomplish a kill. Replay here, straight down the middle, aiming for a campfire. Mosher still back at that service line. And a big swing by Groat, and back to Laney Smith. Finding the seam, putting the ball away in the corner. In the last couple of games, Laney Smith has won block. So the serve receive, Illinois has been able to get some points off of their serve, and that really has been somewhat of the difference maker. And Illinois now with the ball at service, still Brooke Mosher. And it's gonna be an ace for Mosher, and even with a float, kill, float serve, excuse me. Yes, often Brooke Mosier with her jump serve or quick aces and the float serve just adds a different perspective as that ball floats in the air before making contact with the platform. Minnesota adjusting their defense there and set out to throat. Kept up by Paula Biak, but Illinois is going to keep that ball with a big block. Akari Bohm and Lainey Smith working together, teaming up, getting all the way out to the antenna, paying attention, and being able to block back. Yeah. 
And it's going to be a service error for Mosher and Point, Minnesota. Minnesota looking to sub in Alex Acevedo back at that service line. Passed up by Martinez Mundo. Push to that right side. Hernandez off the block. Ball flew all the way back past that back outline. Minnesota unable to get there in time. Well, you can definitely tell that the Fighting Illini are working this right side pin. Avery Hernandez now picking up that right side kill. Hernandez back at that service line. Passed up by Alex Acevedo and hit out by Julia Hansen. Well, Hansen being another outside that's very strong, this time working really hard to get the kill, but just outside the block. And that's something that the block can do, can force a hitter to hit out just by where the block presence is. And tipped over by Hansen, set to the outside. Raina Terry trying to roll it to the middle. The Minnesota Shaftmaster gets it up. And a big, big swing over there on the right side for Minnesota, right through Illinois' seams. Well, Lydia Grote, she is going to get her kills in this match, this time on the right side, just outside the Illini block. See Palabiak back at that service line. And an ace for Palabiak. Miscommunication by Illinois' serve received. Well, Paula Biak has a really tough serve. She's serving the seam, so the seam right in between two players where the decision-making has to be really quick. Kept alive and off the hands. Kill by Raina Terry. Minnesota couldn't figure out where that ball was falling. And a big celebration for the Illini. Arena Terry has the finesse piece of her attacking, but oftentimes she's just stronger than the block, and that time leading to the point. Christy Martinez Mundo now at the service line for the Illini. Ball is kept alive by Hansen. That's going to be three touches, point Illinois. Martinez Mundo looking happy about that serve. Well, Mundo, Martinez Mundo last time had the couple aces to start this set one and has been super aggressive with the serving. Martinez Mundo known to bring the energy to this Illini squad. Ball's going to be kept up by Ash Shibedo and swung at, dug up by Brooke Mosher and down by Philpot. Out of system, two passes. How about that? Well, this was a spectacular hit. Philpot blind to the block in front of her because of the way she was turned. Notice she got that right through the block of Minnesota without even being able to see the block in front of her. Look at Terry, even shocked with that one. Happy for her freshman. All right. Illinois still with service here. Martinez Mundo. Illinois now with a big lead here, 19-11. It's going to be passed up by Ashavito and put away by Julia Hansen straight down the line right in that back corner. Well, Julia Hansen, we talked about her earlier. She's the one that saved them last year in the NCAA tournament, being able to turn that ball right down the line. That's how you're going to challenge Illinois is getting past that block. Chase down set to Terry and tipped right behind that block. Kill Illinois. Keeps using that spot, she knows there's no one there to get that ball. And that creates that disruption. You start to have players reaching back, trying to get that tip, and then the point ends up being dead because of not being able to play the rest of the ball. Worked about three times now for Illinois. Lily Berry back at the service line. Passed up by Palabiak. Swung and kept alive by Mosher. Attacked by Avery Hernandez in the back row. But Minnesota keeping it alive. Chased down by Hernandez, put the ball over. And again, Julia Hansen putting that ball away from Minnesota. Julia Hansen has just put a dent into this floor with her attack. She has such a quick arm, it's able to beat the block. Quick point for Minnesota. Julia Hansen now back at the service line. It's 
Set to Terry. And blocked by Minnesota. Avalea. Big hands. And also their setter, Melanie Shaftmaster. Well, Minnesota teaming up Shaftmaster, but you see Avalea. That's the mm -hmm. one who really created that roof. And being able to just reach over, standing 6-2. Keeps working, Terry. And another block by Avalea. Wow, she's on a roll. And this is huge for Minnesota, being able to stop Raina Terry on the outside where Illinois is getting some points. So, Back at the line, still Julia Hansen. Passed up by Lily Berry. And back to the back row, Hernandez, but kept alive. Set out to Wooker. Rolls it over. Illinois keeps it in play. Miscommunication, but Terry's going to put it over and kill. Back, finally some redemption for Raina Terry there. Feeling excited. Well, because of Phil Pond Mosier kind of getting tangled up in the middle of that play, that ball ended up being set off of the net. Raina Terry giving her some space, and then it becomes a defensive move of whether or not it can be done. Raina Terry now back at the service line. By Hansen. Put up and swinging by Wooker. Back set to Ashland Philpop with a slide and a kill off of Minnesota's block. The line I know that is Ashland Philpot's specialty. Well, Philpot is so good off of one foot, but she has that quick arm. Also, given the fact that that was a free ball play, go ahead and send it over with quick transition. Terry's still at that service line. And served out by Raina Terry Point. Minnesota almost hit Julia Hansen there, but kind of dodged the ball there. And look at Illinois. They have four aces to start this set one. They're still being super aggressive with their serving compared to Minnesota's one ace. Lise McGee subbing in back at the service line. Push to the outside, Hernandez. And kept alive by Kate Thebalt. Tipped by Wooker and pushed back over by Mosher. Set by Calissa Minity. Big swing following Philpa with that slide step. Well, exactly. Minity with the slide, super powerful. This time going all the way out to the antenna. And that gets really hard to chase down as a blocker. Minnesota keeping that ball. McGee still with the service. And served out of bounds. Illinois volleyball. It's like. Reagan Riley going to be subbing in, just back to serve. And as mentioned earlier, when Reagan Riley is serving, it allows Brooke Mosier now to become a hitter in the front row, so an option on the right side. Really a Swiss Army knife of volleyball. Has big numbers across the board. Swung out by Wooker Point, Illinois. Excuse me. No, Wooker ended up getting the yes. kill. It was right on the line, and she's really good at that cross-court shot and just challenging that line. Thank you. We'll see Shaftmaster back at the service line. Barely kept alive by the Illini. Swinging. Avery Hernandez with a kill. Minnesota's block just not pushing all the way over there. Yeah, and Illinois with their offense, they've hit 348 so far in this set, and their offense just keeps on rolling regardless of the craziness that's occurred. As you see Hernandez reaching high right in between that Minnesota block. Here's match point for the Illini. Brooke Mosher back at the service line. And a big swing by Minity and a kill for Minnesota, keeping them in this first match. Well, Minity getting the slide first for her first kill, this time staying in front of the setter, really mixing it up, making the block have to decide where she is going to go. Acevedo back at that service line, hoping to keep Minnesota in this first set. Big swing by Hernandez and blocked by Minnesota. Lee Smith trying to keep that ball in, but Minnesota's defense getting there on time. Oh... Huge overpass kill by Kalissa Minity right on that ball. Minity doing what she needs to do to help her Minnesota Gophers out, and that's protect the net as the overpass for Mosier. Straight down. Set to Hernandez and tipped over, but kept alive by Crowell. 
Swung and kept alive again by Raina Terry. Pushed to that outside. Laney Smith with the kill on the outside. Not her normal position. That's going to be a this is Minnesota's opportunity to step back up and get a lead here. But first, Illinois with the ball at the service line. Avery Hernandez with four kills already on the day. Big swing by Lydia Grote. Tipped over by Raina Terry and kept alive by Paula Biak. Swung again by Lydia Gro and with the kill, Minnesota starting this game off 1-0. Well, definitely during in between the sets, you're looking to make adjustments. And Gro on the right side challenging the Raina Terry Kari Bone Block. Swung right between those two Illinois passers, not able to communicate in time. Set over to Terry and pushed into the block but kept alive. Boehm gonna tip that ball over. Same that ball over to Abalea for the kill. Minnesota staying on top of the Illini in these first two points. Abalea elevating so high with that reach and Shaftmaster being really comfortable setting the ball no matter where she is on the court. Paula Biak still at that service line. Pass. Free ball from the Illini over to Minnesota. And big swing by Abalea, but hit outside. That's going to be a point for Illinois. We're watching Abalea, just her elevation when she contacts the ball is already so high. So trying to make contact with the block to keep the ball in. Martinez Mundo back at the service line with two aces already on the day. It's going to be a service error for Martinez Mundo. Minnesota using this free point. And Leah Grote back at the service line. Pass by Hernandez. Pushed out to freshman Laney Smith and blocked. Kept alive by Hernandez. Swung by Ashlyn Philpot. That's going to be a point, Illinois. Down and in. Well, Phil Pot, when she gets rolling and connects with Mosier, she can pretty much hit any angle she wants to, which is really important for a middle because the angles are key hitting the corners. And that time, Phil Pot picking that left back. Right on the line in a short cut. Passed up by Ashavito and swung at by Hanson, but blocked by the Alana. Big tip, and Martinez Mundo gets there just in time. And put away by Shaftmaster back in that corner, taking two attempts at that one, finally putting away her second try. And that is Melanie Shaftmaster. She's going to be aggressive, and she can do that standing 6-3. She's left-handed. She will just take the opportunity to take it upon herself. She's definitely the sneaky one for this Minnesota team. Push back to Ashlyn Philpott. Push through the block. Push through the passers. Put away again by the freshman. Well, Ashley Philpott does not play like a freshman. And look at the slide. The set was past the antenna, so the reach back and able to go through the block. Illinois knows when they need to get that ball back, give it to Philpott. She's going to put it away. Back at the service line, Raina Terry. And pushed out to Wooker. Swung and kill for Wooker through the Illinois block off the hands. Wooker just getting started, picking up her third kill of the evening, but hitting over 200, and she's one of those outsides. She's super fast, has those sharp angles. Back at the service line, Elise McGee. Passed up, and a joust. Brooke Mosher winning one-handed. Pushed over by Wooker, kept alive. It's that back row, Raina Terry off the hands. But Minnesota also in the net there. Point Illinois, big kill, but little error by Minnesota. And that set by Brooke Mosier was set perfectly. The offense is going along the net, and then out of nowhere, Raina Terry comes back in out of the back row for the kill. They receive Reagan Riley back at the service line for the Illini. And swung back row and put down. Huge swing from Julia Hansen in the back row, but put away by Min Minity, like we've seen her earlier in that set before. Oh, Minity guarding the net, but you're seeing how useful that back row attack can be against these high offenses, 
high offensive teams who just have a way of killing the ball. Swung by Hernandez, but blocked by Minity. Keeping that fire going from the end of that first set. Now into the second. Minnesota up seven to four. Well, Minity also having that big reach out of the middle block and able to end a point quickly. Shaftmaster back at the service line. Shot to Brooke Mosher, a kill from the setter, using that Minnesota block to put the ball away. Well, once again, when Reagan Riley's in to serve, they like to use Brooke Mosher as the third option. She's not necessarily a third option because she goes in ranking. It's just a good third option to have up at the net. Service error by Mosher. That's going to be a free point for Minnesota. See Ashavito subbing in for that serve. Passed up by Terry. It's going to be a jump. And Mosher looks like she's reaching over the plane. Or, excuse me, she's playing back row. Jumped over the plane of the net there. Yep, back row attack. She was trying to set the ball, but it was over the plane of the net, so it's considered back row. And Raina Terry dodging the ball, served out by Minnesota, Point Illinois. Well, really, the difference between set two and set one has been the serving. Illinois started off such with a run with their serving. Minnesota being able to handle the serve now. They've had a couple of errors from Illinois' side. Big swing by Julia Hansen on the outside, putting the ball away off an Illini block. Both teams really putting emphasis on tough serving today. And that's where you're seeing those missed serves, but also quite a few aces. So that's to the right side, Laney Smith swinging out, trying to get that line. It's gonna be a point for Minnesota. Lady Smith is super efficient on that right side. Again, trying to reach for the block, get a hand off and use it, and wasn't able to connect. Palabiak's going to stay there at that service line. Some more Illinois is really tight passing on serve receive right now. And that is a demonstration. Palabiak still with the serve. And Illinois finally getting that ball back. Big celebration there. Well, one statistic that's really key to note right now is Minnesota has sided out 100%. So seven times they've served, received the ball. They have sided out seven times. Illinois sitting at 53. Martinez Mundo at the service line once again. Set back to Grove, but that's going to be a point for Illinois. Just a little deep. And that is the first time in this second set that Minnesota has not sided out right away after a serve. Martinez Mundo back at the line. And into the net, point Minnesota. We're gonna see Gro back at the service line. We see Shaftmaster also at that front line. Set back to Laney Smith and put away. Looks like hitting Palabiak's foot straight down. It was absolutely straight down. It's that line shot that she had been going for earlier but not being able to connect with the block as Smith just automatically leads to a point. All right. Illinois looking to catch up here. Lily Berry serving. Passed up by Acevedo and in that camper, Martinez Mundo getting there just in time and kept alive by Awalea. Big swing and a block by Ashlyn Philpot Through the block for Julia Hansen. Well, Julia Hansen being willing to take that second swing, being aggressive and finds a split in between that Illinois defense. 
Julia Hansen really bringing the fire today for Minnesota. Now back at the service line. And that's going to be an ace for Hansen. Illinois reading that, saying it's going to be out, but dropped right between them. Well, those are some of the most aggressive serves when first the decision making whether or not to play the serve receive, but then it's so deep that it's dropping right on the line. He passed up by Lily Berry. Pushed to fill pot through the block, through the passers, and a big kill. A measure definitely feels comfortable with Ashlyn Philpot on the slide. That's a blind set. Keep in mind that Mosier's making and Philpot able to execute. Very great connection with only one year of playing together. Raina Terry now at the service line. It's going to be set out to Wooker and swung high out of bounds. Point Illini. The Illini slowly crawling back into this set. It's going to be important for Illinois if they're going to come back. They have to be able to piece a couple of points together against a team that is siding out so efficiently. And Minnesota ranked number 16 in the nation. Swing outside, Wooker. Ball is out. But touched. Call looked like it was changed there. Subbing in for Minnesota. Number 10, Elise McGee. Passed up by Mundo and back to Philpot. Down by Ashland. Philpot straight to the middle. Well, pay attention to where Brooke Mosier was on the court when she decided to go ahead and set. She was all the way to the left hand side. Blind set to Philpot for the point. What a connection between the two. And relying on a middle to put a ball down from such a difficult set. And an overpass, but jousted out. Minnesota's pushing that ball over. Rolled down by Hernandez and pushed the back row. Hansen. That ball's going to be in. Point Minnesota. Look at Minity putting that ball away there. Minity does a really nice job guarding the net, being protective, and getting points by just defending the net. See Shaftmaster back at with the serve. Has pushed to the right side. Brooke Mosher through the block. And with a big kill, Minnesota defense kind of wasn't clear who was taking that ball. Well, definitely the left-hand side, the right pin for Illinois has been one that they like to go to. They've been able to get a couple of kills, whether it's been Smith, Philpot, and now Mosher. Serves error point. Minnesota, something Chris Thomas says, he wants them to serve tough, but the errors are starting to rack up a little bit for the Illini. Back at the serve for Minnesota, Alex Acevedo. It's a push to the right side. Hernandez, but kept alive by Acevedo. Push through the block for Hansen. It's going to be her sixth kill of the set. Illinois is going to take their second Minnesota, taking a strong lead over the Illini. Well, the Minnesota offense has been rolling 308 in hitting percentage, but what's interesting is Illinois is still down in the set. They're hitting 340. Lenny Smith taking a shot off the net. Back to Grote, but kept alive by the Illini. Swing again, Laney Smith blocked and kept alive by Martinez Mundo. Back and kept alive by Grote. Put away by Julia Hansen once again. Huge reach there. Well, Julia Hansen just does a really good job of recognizing where the block is and where she can hit when she has the open court, going for that green light swing. Ball's going to be served out by Minnesota. Point, Illinois. It's going to be their chance to kind of fight their way back into the second set. Avery Hernandez back at that service line. 
Ball's going to be set back to Hansen. And a kill for Hansen off Avery Hernandez. We look at what Hansen has been able to do so far in this match. Eight kills, hitting 350. All of it on the outside, just reaching t on top of the block, on the angle of the block, using the block. She's been very effective. And a miscommunication for the Illini. That's going to be an ace for Paula Biak. We kind of sense both of these teams. Minnesota not starting the match real strong. Illinois taking the first set. This time they've put the pressure on Illinois, and the score is very similar to the first set. Bring it, Terry taking a swing in coverage by Laney Smith. Bring it, Terry again using those hands. Illinois is going to get the point with a kill for Terry. And Terry being smart, the first swing high off of the block of the Gophers, and then using the block, recognizing it was a quick short set. Christy Martinez Mundo back at the service line. And a huge block by Reina Terry. Straight down the line. I love their stuff box. They sure do, and they sure get excited for Raina Terry solo on the block. Let's see. Mundo still back at that service line. And a, that's going to be another ace for Martinez Mundo. Very flat ball there. It's like Minnesota. Battled by too many points in a row. Huff Hall bringing the energy for the Illini. Martinez Mundo still at that service line. Ball's going to be out of system. Set over to Hansen. And a kill. Martinez Mundo trying to get it up, but pass that ball back over and out of bounds. Now we're going to see Lydia Grote at the service line. It was a quick side out for Minnesota, which they have done tonight. They are still siding out at 76%. Passed up by Phil Pot and out to Raina Terry. Off the block. And that's going to be another kill for Illinois, another quick side out. And those quick side outs are important for Illinois, but a lot of pressure trying to defend the serve against this Minnesota offense is to see Raina Terry using the block of Shaftmaster. Illinois really utilizing those hands off the block today. Now Lily Berry serving for the Illini. Push out to Hanson again for a kill. Falling to the ground, so much power in that one. Well, sometimes it is hard for the setter. The hardest set is all the way to the opposite side of the court. Shaftmaster all the way to the right antenna. Just a nice, easy set out to Hanson. And letting Hanson do what she does best is find that block. Hanson now serving. Pass up, you're gonna see a back row attack. A tip from Hernandez. Now set back out to Wooker, and that might be a tight ball there. Blocked by Awalea. Great job reading where that ball is going to go. Yeah, Minnesota coming off top in this. First two sets. Back at the service line for Minnesota, Paula Biak. Pushed all the way to the outside. Reina Terry for a swing. It's going to be out for point for Minnesota. Illinois confused, but looks like they're going to take that side out. Well, Chris Thomas is standing here on the sideline looking. He thought it looked in, but looking back at his bench, trusting them that that hit was actually out by Raina Terry. Right, pass by Mundo to Laney Smith. That's going to be a point. Minnesota looks like she may not have gotten that block there, but... Well, that's a big swing for Laney Smith. She's been really successful against this Minnesota Gopher block on the right side. They like to go, Illinois likes to go to the right side. And there they will again, but Laney uses that block and to get that kill. Well, it was smart. Minnesota recognizing it's going to go to Laney Smith, and then this time using the block. There's really nothing a blocker can do when using the hands. Back serving for the Illini, Christy Martinez Mundo. Pass up, set to the middle, and blocked by Ashlyn Philpott and Laney Smith. And swung out 
Point Illini. Big blocking, good communication there for the Illini. Definitely when you consider that Julia Hansen is leading the Gophers in kills, causing her to have a hitting error by adjusting that block all the way to the line. Set to Grote. And it's gonna be a kill. Hernandez getting there, but not getting her angle quite in the place she wanted to keep that ball alive. And definitely a big swing for the Gophers as this back and forth, this set three really setting the tone for how this match is gonna go. Grote now serving for the Gophers. And that's gonna be an ace for Grote. Reina Terry trying to take that ball. But Grote's power and that tough serving, there's that execution. Well, it definitely makes sense that Grote looking to make Raina Terry have to pass the ball. She's the go-to player being able to make that serve receive pass. There we go, another ace for Grote. That's two in a row. Tough serving, getting some big results for the Gophers right now. Well, it's fun to watch these two also battle it out as the new professional volleyball players as they were drafted earlier this week. And barely got over by Grote. Push to Laney Smith and a touch over. Raina Terry's gonna put that ball away with a joust. Well, Melanie Schaffmaster doesn't miss many jousts and being able to win. And so that was a big win for Raina Terry. Minnesota now up five to three, but Illinois with the service. Lily Berry back at the line. It's gonna be off the block. Hernandez puts that ball up. Set to Ashlyn Philpot and put straight down by Julia Hansen. Finally catching on to Philpot's slide there. Well, Phil Pot loves to do the slide, and Mosier feeling comfortable to connect, but Minnesota was planted. There was nowhere for Phil Pot to be able to go. That ball was straight down. Great lined up block by Julia Hansen, now serving for Minnesota. So we set back row to Avery Hernandez and kept alive by Thebalt. Chasing that ball down, giving it to Terry, tipped over and kept alive. Back row attack by Julia Hansen. Terry putting that ball away down the line in the corner, keeping, the Illinois, keeping Illinois in this race. We talked about earlier in the show where Minnesota was more of the power, Illinois more of the finesse. We saw a little bit of that with Raina Terry doing the tip, causing that disruption, and then allowing Illinois to have a second opportunity. Terry now serving. It's going to be passed out. And a huge block by Ashlyn Philpot. Excited about that one, keeping their streak alive. Well, Mosier and Philpot out here against Wooker on the outside, teaming up and being able to execute. Raina Terry still serving for the Illini. Big pass by Hanson and put away by Shaftmaster. Again, sneaky with the tip and putting it down fast. Anytime Shaftmaster's in the front row, the outside, which is right now Hernandez, that is her hitter. She has to focus on Shaftmaster until she has set the ball. Otherwise, that's gonna be the result. Set back to Raina Terry in the back row and put back over by Brooke Mosher to the back corner for a kill. A little bit of setter duels here as both are attacking, but Mosier being able to get the kill. Two setters with very strong arms right there. Put away by Mosher. Challenge, um, Minnesota was challenging, whether it was an in, out, net violation, touch. Could it have been Raina Terry crossing that back line? I'm not so. sure though. Yeah. Ref taking a minute to make sure you're making the correct call. Looks like we've come to a decision. It's going to be Point Illinois. They're going to keep this point. Again, not positive what the challenge was there, 
but like we saw, we did not see violations from Illinois. Neither did the officials. Now serving for Illinois, Reagan Riley. And it's going to be tipped from the back row. Hansen pushed to Hernandez off the block, but kept alive by Hansen. Pass to that middle. That's going to be a point for Kalissa Minity. She's really the go-to. Her and Hansen are the go-tos for the Gophers right now in this game. Well, Minity with six kills, hitting over 700. So the go-to and the efficiency of Minity in the middle, running the slide, 700. Tough to stop. We set to Mosher and swung. That ball is going to be out. Hit the antenna point, Minnesota. Keep in mind in this rotation, Reagan Riley is the setter. Brooke Mosher is now the right side. Shaftmaster back at the service line for Minnesota. And that's going to be a missed serve for Minnesota. Point Illinois. Minnesota leading Illinois 9 to 7. Illinois keeping themselves closer in this set three. That ball is going to be out. Another miss serve for Illinois. Minnesota now checking in. Acevedo. And kept up by Kari Bohm and put away by Laney Smith. Big defense from the middle and great offense from that right side outside hitter. Well, Laney Smith definitely has the arm normally on the right side, but that's what makes her so good as a freshman as well is how comfortable she is hitting on the outside and the right side. He set over to Grote, but kept alive by the Illini. Back to Laney Smith and tipped over, kept alive by Mosher. Minnesota's going to keep this ball in place. Set out to Hansen, but blocked by the Illini. It's like that's going to be a point Minnesota, Illinois net violation. Minnesota being super strong along the net, swinging hard, which is causing Illinois to just Press over that net just a little bit, trying to be aggressive in the block. Paula Biek serving for the Gophers. Pushed out to Laney Smith again. That ball's going to be hit out. Excuse me, that's going to be a point for Illinois. Minnesota blocked the ball, hit the antenna, and that's out. Martinez Mundo serving for Illinois. Chase down to swing by Hansen, but that's going to be a point for Illinois. Definitely saw the elevation from Julia Hansen swinging really high to try and get that cross court shot just too wide. Christy Martinez Mundo still at the line for the Illini. And that's going to be another ace for Martinez Mundo. It's going to be her fifth of the match today. Most teams are happy with five aces alone, but one player having five aces just shows how tough Martinez Mundo's serve is. And another point for Martinez Mundo. It's going to be another ace. Shaftmaster a little slow to get up, being aggressive, trying to get that second contact off a of Hanson serve receive. Keep the energy going for the senior. And swinging from Hanson and put it down at that hard cross corner. Martinez Mundo trying to get there, but Hanson just too powerful. Well, Hansen does a really nice job, just enough outside the block. So keep in mind, the block is taking away that defensive spot on the court. So the player needing to shift outside the block. And that's going to be another mister for Minnesota. 
Point, Illinois, and Lily Berry checking in to serve for the Illini. Well, quick points here by Illinois to take the lead. Just a shift in whether it's been the, the hit out and then the service error. Ball up and set out and blocked by Mosher. The setter with a monster block against Julia Hansen. Well, Hansen's experience, she knows that Illinois is setting up on her. Last time she went outside the block, this time trying to pressure through the middle, wasn't able to do it. Pass up and set out to Hansen and put down by Philpot. Still in play, Philpot tries again. And Minnesota keeps it up. That was Thebalt. And a free ball over from Hansen. Pushed out to Terry and puts it away. Back in that corner, unreachable by the Gophers. Look at the distraction that Philpot has been able to create. The opening for Raina Terry because of the slides that have been going. And Raina Terry taking care of business. Huff Hall is on their feet as the Gophers call a timeout. We're going to take a it's by being aggressive with their swings, forcing Minnesota to give Illinois free balls in which Illinois has executed. Sophomore Lily Berry there back at the service line. Gonna be an attempted tip by Shaftmaster, but didn't quite get it this time. That's been her specialty today and couldn't quite get it. Well, there. Phil Pot trying to uh, take a sigh of relief because I'm not sure that she was in front of Shaftmaster. Had that gone over, she is just so aggressive. And he kept alive by the Gophers and set to the outside. Very high ball and tipped over by Hansen. Pushed all the way to the outside. Terry using that block for a kill. Minnesota got the block up, just not quite in the right spot. Well, and Brooke Mosier does such a good job of speeding up that tempo, recognizing how far back she was to get the ball out to Raina Terry. And Raina Terry does an excellent job of making those adjustments to speed up to the set as well. This set back to Awalea, but not quite put on. Joust, Brooke Mosher beating out the middle. Swung down by Hanson, grabbing the kill. It's a good side out for Hansen, but she's headed to the back row now, so it's going to be really important for Wooker to get going on the outside for the Gophers. Now we're going to see, like you said, Hansen back at the service line. And that's going to be a point for Illinois. Service error, tough serving attempts, comes with some errors sometimes, and Illinois is going to take that free point with Raina Terry back at that service line. Terry again with record-breaking aces this season. It's going to be an overpass. Tempted to put down by Brooke Mosher, but slightly deep there. Well, Minnesota looking out on that overpass. Had Brooke Mosher connected, but again, the points that have been won has been off of the serving game, whether it's been the overpasses or the aces. Now we're going to see Elise McGee serving. We set to back row, Raina Terry trying to find that gap. Minnesota keeps it alive. And Wooker puts it away. Point Minnesota. Attempt by Terry with one arm. But Wooker, big powerful swing there. Well, Minnesota finds himself down a few points in this third set. And with Hanson now in the back row, Wooker stepping up. Pass by Hernandez and push to the right side, reaching Philpot, getting the ball over. Now Wooker with another big swing. Wow. Put straight down, hitting that cross corner. That was a really good try. And I'm hoping to side out quick here to keep their run going. Both teams, Minnesota in this third set, siding out 50%. Hernandez with a swing, but Minnesota with a block. That's going to be Shaftmaster and Minity, who's been on fire today in the middle. Yeah, Minity, she has really teamed up well with the block, moving laterally, focusing on Illinois' outsides. 
passed up and kept alive by Hernandez and sent free ball by Lily Berry. Minnesota to the back row. Hansen putting the ball away. Another, she just gets so high up in the air and gets control over where she needs that ball to go. Well, look at the front row right now for Minnesota. Wooker, Aminity, and then being able to have Hansen with that back row attack. Shaftmaster really identifying where her hitters are at and how they can keep that ball away. Looks like there's a little bit of discussion occurring right now, whether on that last hit, whether it was the back row attack validating that Hansen was behind the line. He's serving. Hernandez passed up and pushed to the back row. Terry. And there's that sneaky play from Shaftmaster getting it back down and a kill for Minnesota. Shaftmaster has six kills. That is next to Wooker with six and Hansen with 14. And that is because she is so aggressive up at the net. Setters have really good vision. They are paying attention to whether, where the block is because that's what they're looking to get their hitters set up with. So the first thing a setter's doing is checking where the block is. Well, if you're Shaftmaster, you're checking to see where you can get the kill. McGee still with the service. Out of system to Hernandez. Swing, big hustle for the Gophers and put over by Shaftmaster free ball for the Illini. Brooke Mosher taking a swing, but a little deep. That's gonna be a point for Minnesota. Brooke really trying to find that open spot, but again, just a little too much power there. We're looking for the quick side out as Illinois finding themselves down two. And back to Raina Terry at the back row. That's gonna be point Illinois with Raina Terry in the back off of that Minnesota block. That's gonna be point Illinois trying to cut their lead back. But you're seeing both sides having their big hitters try and get some points out of the back row. For Illinois, they know Raina Terry can get them the kill, so they're going to the back row. Reagan Riley back in the game, serving for Illinois. And there's Minity with a short roll over that Illini block. So slow, but very well thought out to get that point. Well, Minity sold the slide very well too. They, they called the roll, the defense called the roll, but just, it's hard to get to when it's just perfectly over the block. Illinois is just very used to that powerhouse Minnesota's bringing, taken off guard by those soft touches. We set out to Wooker. That's gonna be a point, Illinois. Just a little deep there on that swing. Bringing the power though. Definitely see how Minnesota gets their points. They're swinging hard, going for the hands of the Illinois block. And for the first time today, Vivian Campbell for the Illini. Vivian Campbell is a sophomore setter for the Illini from Oswego East High School. And blocked by Laney Smith, but it's gonna be slightly out. Brooke Mosher checking back into the game. Well, obviously the Illini block trying to get a stop on the outside, just something going on just to get some points. Minnesota now with the lead 22 to 20. With Acevedo back at the service line for the Gophers. Uh, seems to be a hold with the substitutions. Just making sure everything's correct. Pass by Terry to the outside. Laney Smith, but blocked by Grote, excuse me, Grote. Elana are gonna take a timeout. Minnesota has the service right now, looking to stay ahead of the Illini. Well, the big difference has been the Minnesota block suddenly coming up these last few points, really putting some pressure on the Illini to get a kill. Big swing from Hernandez and a kill. Shaftmaster getting a hand on, but Hernandez finding that great spot in the scene. 
Well, that was a big side out for Illinois. Hernandez stretching the block of the Gophers. A lot of attention going on Lainey Smith, who was outside. Ball's gonna be set out to Hansen. And down in the corner, Illinois looks like they're gonna challenge that ball. If it was in or out. The left back corner, Hansen reaching really high for the kill, but it definitely was a little bit deeper than, um, it was enough to make it be questionable, that's for sure. Illinois players seem confident that the ball was out. Let's take a look. Now from that angle, what you're looking at is you're trying to see if there's, if the ball is touching any part of that white line or inside of it. From that angle, it's, it's kind of tough to see if that shadow is part of the line or if it's over. Well, let's take a look from this angle. That ball Ooh. looks like it was right on the line there from this angle know. here. You look at where the line is and then just a little bit. See, I think what we're seeing is the shadow mm -hmm. where the line, but it is not quite down before it touches. But we'll see what they come up with. They're showing the same view in Huff Hall and the Illini uh, fans yelling out. <laughs> Definitely a tough one. Hard to see at these angles. And lighting with the shadows. Looks like officials may have made a decision here. Let's see if the call gets turned over. That's gonna be Minnesota's call. Ball call will stay the same. Said that ball was in. Could also be that they could say there's not enough to overturn what the original call was. Obviously, we were looking at the line. Line judge called it in. Might not have been enough. Raina Terry putting that ball away right away for that Illini side out. They say ball never lies. Maybe that was <laughs> one of those situations. They could be right, but Raina Terry was making sure there was no doubt on that kill, putting some pressure here on Minnesota with a set point. With six aces on the day, this is not the person Minnesota wants to see back at the line right now. Martinez Mundo has definitely had her share of aces tonight. Six, as you mentioned, and this is putting some pressure on the Gophers to get a good pass out of the serve receive. outside Hansen kept alive by Martinez Mundo and tipped over by Raina Terry kept alive by Shaftmaster set to the right side Laney Smith tipped over and kept up by Paula Biak. swing and that is in that is set three for Minnesota Minnes see Illinois back of the service line Avery Hernandez Kept up out of system, set to Hansen, but put away by Kari Bohm. First big block for Kari Bohm this evening, and she is definitely setting the tone for the first point of the fourth set. Putting away Hansen, definitely a big component today. There's a tip recovered by the Illini. And a big swing by Terry, put away. Another big point for the Illini. So much of the volleyball game's all about transition and how quick, and notice that Boehm stealing the block from the Gophers and Terry able to put it down. See, passing, an attempt to keep it alive, but that's gonna be an ace from Hernandez. Well, these are some big first three points of this fourth set. Keep in mind, Gophers looking for the win. They have to win this. Illinois trying to take it to five needs this fourth set. I see an outside hit from Hansen. Ball is out. Excuse me. There was a touch on the play. That's going to be a Minnesota ball and a kill for Julia Hansen. Excuse me. They recalled it again.
Let's take a look here, see if there was a touch on this play. Well, yeah, so I picked up a conversation earlier that it sounded like maybe the camera angles that they're not able to pick up certain things on the replay system. The replay system is different than what we have here with our production. So um, as our down official just said, it's back up and running, we'll get it up and running. So it doesn't make sense to challenge when there's nothing to review. See an out of system over to Laney Smith and a kill for Smith through that Minnesota block. And a big pass set from Lena Terry, from Raina Terry, excuse me. Yeah, being able to get Smith involved on the right side, that's where we've seen her. And notice how she just uses that left hand of Hansen to get the point. At the line, Christy Martinez Mundo, a powerhouse from the service line today, tipped, kept alive by the Illini, outside to Terry, and put away again off that Minnesota block. This is a big run for Illinois. Minnesota normally able to side out so effectively. And right now, just really struggling to get a point. See Martinez Mundo, seven aces today and another service error. It's gonna be a point for Minnesota with Grote back at the line. One thing to notice about Minnesota though, even though they're down by three and at one point was down by four, they don't seem too rattled. They just carry on with their points. Brooke Mosher out to Raina Terry and straight up from Paula Biak. An attempt by Hansen, but just rolled into the net there. Point Illinois. Well, Hansen's game is all about the power. Notice him trying to do the finesse over the Illinois block. That could be because of the pressure that Illinois has put on the outsides for the Gophers. Very serving for Illinois. Two pass by Acevedo. Pushed to the middle with a slide. And tipped over by Mosher into the corner, wide open. Three point Illinois keeping their lead rolling. That's a great time for a setter attack. A lot of disruption happening on the Minnesota side. And then that deep corner's open. See Barry still at that line. Over pass by Paula Biak. And swung down, straight down from Julia Hansen. Hansen not worrying about finesse this time and doing what she does best, which is just that green light, go for the swing and splits the Illinois block. Hansen now serving for Minnesota. See, Terry rolls it over, pushes the outside, swung and it's gonna be out. That's gonna be a point for Illinois. Time to get Terry back to that service line. Another dominant server for the Illini. Well, this could be interesting. Chefmaster, known to be an aggressive setter, might try and attempt to do something to get some points here. A good setup to pass and hit over by Hansen. An attempt by Terry, but put away by the Gophers. Just finding those open spots on the court there, keeping the line eye on their toes. Yeah, the Gophers working hard to try and just get some points and being able to find those deep corners are usually not covered. Doesn't matter which team, the, the deep corners are hard to defend. Lise McGee serving. The slide to Philpot and kept alive and kept alive again by Shaftmaster. Illinois is gonna put that to the outside. Avery Hernandez putting it down the line, right in the corner. The Shaftmaster trying to line up, take the line away from Avery Hernandez, and this time just being able to go just on the edge of the block. Notice Shaftmaster didn't give Hernandez much room, but she got it. Illinois back at the service again. First time in today, Bianca May. 
And go back over to Minity. And a huge swing for Minnesota. Now back serving as Shaftmaster. Back with three hitters in the front row. Mosher's giving that ball to Kari right in front of her. And pushed over by Minnesota. It's going to be tight at the net. And Hernandez keeps it alive. Hernandez swings. Minnesota keeping this ball in play. And a big block by the Illini. But coverage from Minnesota rolled over by Hansen. A big swing by Hernandez. Hansen falls to the ground, unable to get up and get to that ball. Well, a big rally by both sides. Illinois taking advantage of the free ball, the down ball that Minnesota gave. And instead of going to the middle, using Hernandez and opening up that block. Hernandez's seventh kill of the night. Now Reagan Riley back at the service line. Is that looking to use the middle? Minnesota. Phoebe Alawea. Excuse me. Glissa Minity putting that ball away for Minnesota. Minity's had a really good night. Nine kills out of the middle. She's still hitting 700 for her hitting percentage. To the outside, Laney Smith putting the ball away, getting that cross corner shot towards the front of the court. Well, normally it's that Hernandez-Terry combination on the outside, but Laney Smith now taking some swings in this rotation. She now has 10 kills, second in the Illinois roster. Coach Chris Thomas saying they're training her to become a Six position, excuse me, six rotation hitter. Illinois is going to put that ball down, keeping this lead rolling. Reina Terry with her 17th kill on the night. Minnesota. Working, and then they've been really aggressive with their serves. Hernandez going to start back at the line. Barely makes it over. That's going to be an ace for Hernandez. Illinois really serving tough to, in this set. That's going to be her second ace of the day. Nine total aces for Illinois. A big swing, way to keep it alive by Martinez Mundo, and huge swing by Reina Terry, and kept up by Minnesota. Coverage off the block from Laney Smith, and a swing from Terry, and puts it away. Minnesota scrambling for the ball, but Illinois staying on top of the Gophers. It's really been the difference maker in this fourth set is the ability to cover the block and allow multiple opportunities for hitters to swing. Hernandez at that line still. Minnesota keeping the ball alive, but sending that free ball over. Mosher's going to give that ball to Laney Smith and puts it away with a light tip right above the block. It's definitely been a night where Laney Smith has shined. She's hitting 364, this time with a nice little finesse tip right over that gopher block. Smith's 11th kill of the night, really finding a good place behind that gopher block. Set to the right side here. Kept alive by Mosher. Set to Terry, and still up in the air. Minnesota's going to fight this one out, put over by Hansen. Mosher set to Terry and kept alive by Skylar Gray and put down by Kari, Kari Baum. Kari Baum doing a really nice job lining up on Hansen. Hansen has definitely had her kills tonight, but Kari Baum is taking her personal mission to block Hansen. Kari feeling good after that one. Hernandez still with this Illinois serve. Tipped over, coverage by Mosher. Set to Raina Terry, and blocked by Calissa Minity. Staying on top of these Illini, finally getting that point back for the Gophers. 
Olivia Groat adding into that block for the Gophers, really lining up on Terry's, but Minity, notice how much she stretched and leaned back into the middle of the court. Shot to Smith and blocked by the Gophers. Well, these are important points for Minnesota as they look to kind of inch back as Illinois had been siding out at 100%. They were six for six in siding out. We saw them come back from a lead in the second set. And Terry misses this swing. Minnesota's gonna roll with this ball and Illinois win. Keeping a tie game between the two teams. Set out to Terry and blocked. Big block and a big celebration there for Lydia Grote. Well, Grote, this is her second time against Terry, and this time she definitely has found a spot right behind kind of that middle part with the block. Set to Smith, and again, Laney Smith using that block to get a nice, easy ball out and a point for Illinois. Well, Illinois looking for that quick side out. Laney Smith, who has been hitting over 300, she's still 333. Good decision to go to the right side. Very passed by Gray and set to grow, but kept alive by the Illini and pushed through. It's going to be a touch and a kill for Raina Terry. Terry and Grote have been battling out this right side pin, left side for Terry. And this time, just being able to go a little bit off of Grote to use the block. Back to Martinez. Mundo with the serve. And a pass up by Gray. And swung by Grote. Pushed to Terry. Tipped down and blocked by Grote. Chased down by the Illini, but couldn't make it. Big block for Grote. Groat's been working really hard to help her Minnesota Gophers get some points. We talked about her. She got drafted earlier this week, not necessarily leading in kills. She has four kills so far this evening. Illinois is going to send a free ball over. Passed out to Hansen and swung and put away by Hansen. Right down the line in the corner, unreachable for the Illini. The Gophers really taking advantage of the free ball anytime given a team wanting to get a quick kill off of a free ball. Minnesota making sure they're staying in this game, keeping energy high. Mosher's pushing that to Laney Smith and a big block for Julia Hansen. Laney Smith doing a good job today getting past that block, but not on that one. Well, Hanson and Smith battling it out. We've seen this across the net, trying to make adjustments, whether move in, move out, give the hitter a different perspective. And put away by Smith. Giving it right back to Hanson there. Another fun battle just between the two. Yeah, if you pay attention to what was really occurring, Hanson got sidetracked by Philpott in the middle, wanting to jump with the block. But in the end, the set, Mosier able to disguise it and went to the right side. Illinois back with the serve, Lily Berry. He pass set to the middle. Phoebe Awalea with a kill for Minnesota. Now Alea has been part of those blocking schemes as well, this time getting to participate in the offense. She's had a nice night though. She's been able to get a couple of kills as she just got one there. To back row, Hernandez kept alive by Minnesota and battled out by Terry, pushing through Shaftmaster. Keeping this ball on Illinois' side. Raina Terry is going to head back to the service line. This is big point, point 20 of the set. Obviously a big milestone looking to get this fourth set.
And so a set to the back row. Hansen put that ball away right between Illinois' defensive seams. Hansen picking up her 20th kill with this back row attack right over the block of Philpott. Minnesota back with service. Down five points, looking to make the crawl back here. Blocked by Minnesota. There's another point for Minity. Still on this blocking game, keeping Minnesota in this game. Shaftmaster helping with the block for the Gophers. Brooke Mosher out to Hernandez. Swung out. Minnesota thinks it was out, but touch off the block. Coach well, head Cook. coach Keegan Cook trying to talk to his team, decide whether or not to challenge, but the play is going to continue on. Illinois ball. Back in to serve Bianca May for the Illini. Tight. Pushed over by Shea Master. Back row, Raina Terry, and kept up by Paula Biak. Pushed through the block. Another kill for Julia Hansen, her 21st of the night. Both attacks coming from that back row, trying to deceive the opponent on where the attack is going to come. And Hansen just really swinging away tonight. Shaftmaster back with the serve for Minnesota. And middle attack by Kari Bohm to outside. Rolled over, kept alive by Lily Berry. Pushed to Avery Hernandez and blocked once again by Minity. Really Minity. following those pin hitters out to those lines. Yeah, Minity's been all over the net tonight, just being so patient, watching with her eyes where the ball is going to be going and making the adjustment. And a serving error for Shaftmaster. The Illinois fans are getting excited about this one. Illinois now up 22 to 18. These are some big points as Illinois trying to drag this into that fifth set because at any point anything can happen in that fifth set. Laney Smith heading back into the front row for the Illini. Brigham Riley serves the ball over. Big swing for Groat, and it's going to be another kill for Minnesota. Brooke Mosher subbing back in for the Illini. Groat going in between the Illini block. Bohm trying to get there in time, but Bohm has a tough job right now trying to keep this front row and her blocking. It's going to be sent free ball to Minnesota. And a huge attack from Julia Hansen using that block, but putting it down on Illinois' side. You can see how much trust Shaftmaster has in Hansen, setting her the ball, whether she's back row, front row, this time again on the outside, super cross-court shot. Minnesota closing that. There was 100% that the fighting Illini were able to side out. Minnesota has put that pressure on. Illini sitting at 57. Minnesota with service, and the ball is out. That's going to be a point for Illinois. And the Illini fans are on their feet, still getting loud. We see Avery Hernandez back at the service line for the Illini. And keep in mind, Hernandez has had a pair of aces herself this evening with Illini's total aces, nine. Minnesota set out to Groat. And that's going to be a kill. Hernandez getting there, but passing that ball over the net and out. It's going to be a free point for Minnesota. And Groat getting a little more active now. Hansen in the front row for Minnesota. Groat in the front row, being able to add a lot of offense, right? Palabiak with the serve and up by Hernandez. Put away by Terry. Illinois now with that point. And Huff Hall is booming. Illinois with their own share of a really good offense up at the net. Terry Smith and Philpot 
But they have to defend this serve. Christina Martinez Mundo back at the line. Big serving day for her. Minnesota to the right side. Grote puts the ball away for Minnesota, keeping them in the running for this match. And I still set point 24 to 22. Looking for a quick side out. Terry keeps the ball up, pushed out to Terry. And she swings, the ball is out, point Minnesota. It's definitely a big swing by Terry, shooting for the line that she's had much success with tonight. Minnesota really making her go all the way. All right, figuring out how to get out of this rut. Terry serving up and saved by Mosher. Terry's going to swing, keeping the ball in play. Minnesota tipping. Mosher's going to take that ball and set it out to Terry. Blocked, but kept alive by Hernandez. Pushed out to Laney Smith and tipped over and still alive. Swing. Kept up by Martinez Mundo and a swing and a big block from Phoebe Alawea. This is big time points right now. Minnesota has been up against the wall and now they've put up their own wall in the blocking of Terry. See, in a match win by two, these teams are tied 24-24. Grow with a serve, passed up by Terry. Set to Laney Smith, and that ball is blocked out of bounds. Point, Illinois. It's again, match point for the Illini. The Illini have service. Sophomore Lily Berry back at the line. Well, Smith exiting the game with her 14th kill, hitting 321. Now Terry's still in the front row, so as Illinois goes to serve. Team use their hands on these blocks. That's how they've been getting a lot of their offensive points today. Minnesota already back on the court, ready to keep battling out. Illinois needing to push one point. Minnesota needs to push three here. Lily Berry at that service line for the Illini. And Huff Hall getting loud for the Illini on set point. and a service error from the Illini. Minnesota stays in this game. Minnesota now getting the opportunity to do what they do best, which is to serve, defend this serve, and they're blocking. Again, 16 blocks for Minnesota. Julia Hansen at the service line, leaving Minnesota with two hitters in the front row, but Shaftmaster doing her own job playing in the front. That's the 3.4 Minnesota hit out by Reina Terry. Minnesota now match point. Illinois down one. There's some big swings here for Illinois. Terry in the front row, Phil Potts and Mosier. Martinez Mundo keeping the ball up. Pushed out to Reina Terry, swung, kept alive. Pushed out. And Ball is down, miscommunication for the Illini. That's going to be a win for Minnesota. Final score 27 to 25 in this fourth set. Minnesota taking the final three sets, Illinois the first. Tough break for Illinois, but a big win for the Gophers. Well, it was definitely exciting. Well, it was definitely exciting. <laughs> Yeah, I'm an all star and the moon star gun name. I'm an all star and the moon star. Four! Yes.